Are you ready to see Pete's new bike? Are you ready? Check it out. Visual XB12R. Nah, it's not my bike. This is one of my mate's collector bikes that he's had in storage for a while. So I thought, you know, why not? I'm not working at the moment. Instead of playing computer games, I want to take it for a little test ride. So what do you think? Should I do a proper review on it or what? Oh yeah, the all power baby. It's so freaking talky. I've ridden lots of leader bikes and 1200s and supercharged Harleys and such. This is pretty talky. <laughs> oh, shit's all over the MT. Hopefully I can make it to the servo in time. It's a heavy bike, so you've really got to sort of throw your weight, even I'm not really going that fast, but you get the idea. So unfortunately, uh, these weren't very uh, big in terms of sales, sort of like the Nuda, until they stopped making them, then they became popular. But unlike the Nuda, I guess like the Nuda, the value of these things won't depreciate, they'll go up. This thing vibrates so much. Any chick with a good libido will like this. Actually, it would be good to put a cup of water on it. Mm, there's a little bit of bite on that massive front disc. The gears are very cumbersome, they're very hard to click through. Now I'm not sure if that's the type of Rotax engine this is. And I am wearing sneakers too, so that doesn't really help. Normally I'm wearing my boots. The mirrors are basically utterly useless. But on something that has like a 64 degree lean angle, these things are monstrous man. All right, it's all filled up. Let's take a nine liters. feeling we're going to be here for some time. We didn't know where the indicator was. It's like, where's the indicator? So is this a bike that Peter would buy? Probably not, I would rather buy an EBR, but each to their own. People like these bikes because of the style, because they're a collector bike now. I like the EBRs because I just like the look of them. And they ride really, really good. They suit my style to a T. Yeah, get out of the way, bird. The fire bolt is here. I'm going to cheat. Decreasing turn circle. Can he do it? Yes. Look at that. Success. 
So you've got that weird stand again that you've got to like let grab and then roll back on, which is really trippy. I'm not a fan of that at all, bro. <laughs> Alright, subway's just there. So let's have a look at it. So essentially it's a 1200cc V-twin. Like a V-twin. Jardine exhaust underneath here. It's belt driven. You can tell it's been restored, or been stored I should say, because he doesn't, doesn't ride it that much. He brought it just as like an investment. Uh, yeah, 2007 model I believe this is. Clean as. I like it. I really do. I mean, aesthetically, it's probably not something I'd, I'd, I'd buy. But I do like the hectic Habibi burnouts. Really? Okay. So the pretentious soccer mum type of mentality is true. They cannot fucking park. Neutral is really fucking hard to find on this bike. There we go. Found it. So I don't know if you can tell, but the whole thing vibrates so much. It's ridiculous. A cup of water on here would be like the jaw, uh, not the jaws, the um, open face really. Uh, it would be like the, what's that movie? With a cup of water vibrates heaps when the footsteps of the giant monster. Jurassic Park, that's it. Uh, dum dum, dum dum. The wheelie zone's just down here by the way, I'm just going there to find out what time lessons and stuff are. Because we're going out to the wheelie zone field day in a couple of weeks. Hopefully John's there in his Buell or his EBR. John at Really Zone has the um, upgraded version of this. Here's a photo of what it looks like. I can see how people like to race these bikes through twisties. So even though um, I'm only riding on back streets and stuff, I'm not really taking it through any twisties, it does feel heavy. But it feels like it can oh, it feels like it can it can tip in really easy. Although it would take some getting used to. How good is Star Wars? 